For me, it's about the law and people. How am I supposed to quantify the value of these things when I don't have evidence? I'm sorry. And how people can resolve their problems and just be better for it. Justice with passion. I always knew I was going to go into law because I tried to see everybody's point of view in an argument. You say one thing, she says another. So who am I to believe? Justice with truth. Either you make the decision or I make the decision. You won't like mine. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Helen Carter is suing Kelly Duncan in the amount of $1,100. Ms. Carter claims her former friend damaged her brand new car's dashboard with duct tape and says Ms. Duncan refuses to reimburse her for the damage. Ms. Carter, uh, you are suing for $1,100 because your dashboard was damaged by the defendant? Yes, Your Honor. How did she damage your car dashboard? She put her fast pass in my car using Gorilla Tape and it messed up my brand new dashboard in my new car. Gorilla Tape or duct tape? It's duct tape, but it's the, the real good tape that you can't get off. So, okay, so it's the, the industrial strength duct tape, for, for lack of better words. Your okay. car is not brand new. So wh why, why, would you, why would you do that? So was your dashboard leather, plastic, Ms. Carter? It's leather. Leather, okay. Yes. And how hot is it where you guys It gets pretty hot. We're, live we're in when LA. she did this? We live in LA. Oh, okay. Yes. It's hot all the time. So just tell me what happened. So uh, me and her, we're, we're real close friends, but we used to be close friends. <laughs> Um, for about four years, we took a uh, yoga class together, and uh, she did something to her car. She crashed it, of course, because she's, un, you know, not responsible. Uh -uh. So she crashed her car, and she decided that she needed a ride, and I said, okay, cool, let's, let's do it. You offered she... me a ride. I did not. Okay, just l let her finish, Ms. Duncan. Go ahead, Ms. Thank Carter. You, I appreciate so you that. let her borrow your car, offered her no, a ride? I offered her rides, yes, Your Honor. Um, and in order to get around where she needs to go, we needed to use the fast pass, um, and I don't have a fast pass. So she brought her fast pass into my vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, my brand new vehicle, by the way, mm -hmm. and she put it in the car using this duct tape, which was odd to me to begin with, but okay. I let it go. You saw her do that? Yeah, she, she told me how to put it in, in order for the reader to read it. Um. No, I mean, usually it has a Velcro that you can Velcro to your car or you just leave it in your dashboard, on that your was, dashboard. That was in my car, Your Honor. Oh, so, I understand. Yeah. So then why would you have to put duct tape on it? Well, she doesn't have the Velcro in her car. My, I understand. My car had the Velcro, I so understand. the tape was just because she didn't have anything to attach it in her I, but car. But what, is she going to be driving like a maniac that it was going to be flipping does back sometimes. and forth? I mean, she does. But why, why do that if you just put it in your dashboard and that's it? I just wanted to make sure it stayed like where it was and didn't go flying out the car the way she drives. Okay, so Ms. Carter, you saw her put the duct tape on your dashboard. I saw her put the easy pass in my car. I didn't know what she was really but using. But you just told me that you saw her put duct tape on the I car. Didn't know, I didn't understand what the, the adhesive was at first. It's tape. Yes. Tape looks like tape, right? Duct tape is duct tape. Mm -hmm. So you knew and you saw her put duct tape on your car? Correct. How long did you let the fast pass sit in your car taped with duct tape on it your dashboard? It was about a week. About a week. One week. One week. Where did you park your car? I usually park on the street. Hot summer weather. Correct. In Los Angeles. Yes. Did you ever ask her to take the fast pass off? I actually was going to, I actually brought it to her because she didn't have a car to drive to me. So I drove it to her and I took off the easy pass and gave it to her. And then when I tried to get the tape off, it ripped off the leather. And I really tried to get it off without ruining my car to save her, but it ripped off my leather. And then when I tried to contact the young lady, she refuses to answer my messages. No, 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 I, I refuse to answer your messages because she started getting all crazy with me. And I have those text messages right here, Your Honor, if you mm -hmm. want to see them. And Not really. She started cussing me out, so I blocked her because of how wild those text messages were. Wait, 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 mm -hmm. Your Honor. And then, Your so Honor. she was asking for money back? 
No, no, she was telling me that I had to pay for the damage to her car that she caused because initially when I gave her the fast pass, I told her whenever you're not using it, put it in your glove box. And most normal people don't park their car outside, but she likes the heat of her car. So instead of parking in a parking garage during the summer, it wouldn't even have melted had you not parked your car that way and listened to me and put did it in your glove box. Did she know it was duct tape? She knew it was duct tape. I did She not. knew it was duct tape. She I watched me do it. I did not. She watched me do it. Your, your Honor. But you I, left it in, in your car. You let yes. her put it in your car. You saw it with your own eyes. I saw her put it in, but how am I supposed it's to like know the damage? It's like common sense. It's like... It's like using crazy glue to fix a chipped tooth. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, uh, common sense, you don't do that. Coming up on Justice For All. You knew she used duct tape to, to paste the easy pass on your dashboard. I'm not gonna lie to you, Your Honor, I have no idea the effects of duct tape. Ignorance of the law is absolutely no excuse. And later. My niece Candace invited me to visit her in Los Angeles. She had a total freak out and decided to kick me out of her home. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Helen Carter, who is suing Kelly Duncan for property damage. What color was the duct tape? Please tell me it was gray. Or it it just... was gray duct tape. Regular, oh standard my God. duct tape. I, I am not, not a handy gray. person. I'm not a handy man, but I recognize duct tape when I see it. Because my husband loves to duct tape everything. <laughs> everything. And do, do not tell me that you did not see duct tape, that she was taping it on your, on your dashboard. I saw And then her. you let the car sit in the sun for a week. But it's my car. I should be able to park wherever I want to park. Of course you can, but you knew she used duct tape to, to, to paste the thing, the easy pass on your dashboard. I'm not going to lie to you, Your Honor. I have no idea the effects of duct tape. I didn't know it was going to sit into my leather. This is a new car. But she I kept it. Ignorance of the it. law is absolutely no excuse. And common sense is true. Common sense is just not common anymore. You are equally, if no more, responsible for what happened to your car. She told you, and tell me if she did not. She told you, hey, when you're not using it, remove the fast pass. Mm -hmm. Did she tell you that? She said that. Okay, but then you But she didn't say the duct tape. The, I could have left the duct tape right there. She said, remove the fast that pass. You are not helping yourself. <sighs> She You're actually, she kept yourself. it there longer than it was supposed to be there. Because the first time I brought my fast pass in, I just did it as a favor for her, for consideration for her time for giving I me a it. ride. I get it. I wow. get it. And do you have any this kind of invoice? You have any kind of invoice? Because friend. do I you do. really have to replace the whole dashboard or just part of it? Can you save part of it? Unfortunately, with a Jeep Cherokee, with the new Cherokee, you can't, you have to replace the whole dash. Her car is not new. Her car is a 2011. It's new to me, So it's Your not Honor. brand new. It's new to me. If it were new, like it's my new. car, is, which is a 2020, it's never happened to my car. Excuse that is another reason why I have How much is your car worth, 2011? Blue book value, paid, guess? Don't tell me you don't know. I paid like 7,500 bucks for it. 7,500 bucks? Mm hmm And you're asking for 1,000? That's how much it costs to replace the dash. Let me see that invoice. Of course, Your Honor. Just, just for entertainment's sake. All right, anything else, Miss Duncan? I just want to say, I never asked for the ride. She offered. She said she's on a flexible schedule. She works from home, so she is available all the time to give me rides. I brought the fast pass just to be considerate of her time. And that's the only reason why it was at the first time. The second time it was in her car is because she asked me to, because she wanted to use it for herself. So, the so you, she used it first time, she gave it back to you. Then the second time you brought it to her. For her. For her. Yeah. And you told her, did you, did you give her more duct tape? What? No, I didn't give her more duct tape. It was, the same, it was the same device from the first time and the way it was set up. I gave her instructions the first time. I thought she took in what I said and was doing that when she was using it. Just, just to put it in your everything. dash. Yeah, just to put it in your dash once you're not using it. The whole thing, remove she everything. Told me exactly. It's, a, it's really department. small, so. Oh, well, I know. I have up. a fast pass. <laughs> I, I get it. Okay. But you told her to remove the duct tape. I just told her to put the device in her dash so it didn't stay on there for very long. So, yes, the duct tape should have came off with it. Okay. All right. Anything else, Ms. Carter? 
I just want to add that she used to be my best friend. <laughs> we are and not best friends. And she's wearing my we, shoes uh. right now. The disrespect alone is unbearable. And I would like my 1100 And if I could add the cost of these shoes, that would be great. Wow. The thing about life is that too many of us go through life with, it, with just... We just wander, we just kind of walk on why, you know, by. We just don't, we don't wonder about things. We don't use common sense. And we, we become so complacent where, well, somebody else will take care of it. Oh, it's okay that we don't challenge ourselves to wonder or to ask. I would wonder if using industrial strength duct tape on a dashboard in the heat of Los Angeles would be a good idea. The car was in your possession. You put the fast pass with duct tape on your dashboard. You should have wondered a little bit. And if you would have wondered a little bit, you would have removed the damn thing from your dashboard and you would not have had a damaged dashboard. And I do not believe for one minute a 2011 Jeep Cherokee Dashboard is $1,100, and you paid $7,500 for the car. I have no proof of what the condition of the dashboard was under. I have no proof if it was already uh, it, it damaged by the sun. I have no proof of anything. I have one convenient invoice. So based on the evidence, I feel that you were responsible for the damages in your dashboard. Your ex-best friend told you take the darn thing off of your dashboard when you're not using it. You did not listen. That is not on her, it's all on you. So based on the evidence, I will deny your claim for $1,100 and I will rule in favor of the defendant. Good luck, mm -hmm. ladies. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I want my shoes back. <laughs> you want more friends. That's the only reason why you brought me here, just wow. to get attention. Wow, I That's have That's the only friends. reason why we're here today. I invited no. you in my life. Thank no. you. Coming up on Justice For All, I kicked my aunt out of my apartment because she has continually disrespected my boundaries and I had enough. She, for the third time, has brought my supposed half-sister to my home and I just had it and I kicked her out. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. Lindora Casey is suing Candace Casey in the amount of $550. Ms. Casey claims her niece abruptly sent her packing after initially inviting her for a visit and says she was forced to incur unforeseen travel expenses. Okay, Ms. Casey, I understand you are suing your niece? That is correct, Your for Honor. For $550? Yes for a trip that you took out to see her, is that correct? Yes. What happened? My niece Candace invited me to visit her in Los Angeles and on the second day of our trip she had a total freak out and decided to kick me out of her home mm -hmm. and leaving me stranded with nowhere to go. I had to find myself a hotel room and pay out of pocket for that and then she decided to ignore me for the rest of the time that I was there. So she invited you to stay at her apartment? Correct. So for how long? For five days total. So five days. And she decided that as a guest. Yes. Free of charge. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a gesture, like a gift. Come stay with me. Well, yeah, we're family. Okay. So it, uh, it, it was a gift. So she decided to rescind that gift or rescind the invite to your home how many days after? It was on the second day that I was there, and I was planning to be there for five total. Okay. So how is that a legal obligation for her to pay for your hotel when she invited you to her apartment? Well, she invited me out there, so... An invitation is a gift. Correct, but I wasn't planning on spending this money out of pocket to go find somewhere to go, and unsafely just kicked me out in the middle of a town that I have no idea where I'm at. Why'd you kick your aunt out of your apartment? Because she has continually disrespected my boundaries and during her trip to my apartment, I had enough. And she, for the third time, has brought my supposed half-sister to my home 
after she made a promise to me that she would not do that anymore, and I just had it, and I kicked her out. Okay. It is her sister. I mean, I was there when the girl was born. I know that they're sisters. Okay, so you disrespected her boundaries. She asked you not to do something on several occasions, which obviously is very sensitive to her. I don't even know, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to figure it out. She doesn't get along with her half-sister. Coming up. I'm just really hurt by her actions. So that's why you're suing her? Yes, for the money that I had to cough up on I mean, this trip. Come on, you realistically think she's legally responsible? You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Lindora Casey, who is suing her niece, Candace Casey, for travel expenses. How is she legally responsible for the $550 that you spent in hotel, et cetera, while you were in LA for the last three days? Well, I, I mean, again, I wasn't planning on it. This was something that she was gifting me to come out there for. You know, my brother passed away a little while ago, and I've been trying to rekindle a relationship with her sister and her, and I just feel that she's completely changed after her dad passed. I'm just really hurt by her actions. So that's why you're suing her? Yes, for the money that I had to cough up on I mean, this trip. Come on, you realistically think she's legally responsible for $550? Yeah, and her behavior. Under what how legal, do you explain how do you, the legal theory, because I, I, I don't understand your legal theory. There was no contract, so if you're suing her to make a point, if you're suing her to make you listen, if you're suing her because you are very hurt by her actions, that's another story. You shouldn't be wasting the court's time in filing a small claims court, but I, I may understand because obviously you're really hurt, but that is not something that I can fix for you. You clearly violated her rules, violated her wishes, and she got tired of it and she kicked you out. She has every right to do that. I don't agree. But here we are. I, I, it doesn't matter if you don't agree, and I'm not going to say I don't care if you don't agree, because obviously I care, but it really doesn't matter. Judge Perez's verdict when Justice for All returns. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. All right, anything else, ladies? I would like to her to know that. You know, that's not how you treat your family. That's not how you treat people that love you and care about you. And It would help if you would twist that around. I don't know you very well, but you just pointed the finger at her. When you did something to her to make her feel not supported, not, to, not respected, she clearly asked you, I don't want anything to do with my half-sister. Right. She has chosen her over me. to make it work, right? Yes, I have but apologized But that's none of her. your business. It's her relationship with her half-sister. It's not yours to fix. Ms. Casey, anything else? No. That's it. Okay. Based on the evidence, I will deny the plaintiff's claim for $550. Good luck, ladies. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I still want to talk about this, and I hope you have an open mind to that. I would be willing to do that if you continue to respect my boundaries and hopefully it won't go this far. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.